Okay, quick video tutorial on how to add a blog to a blog post to the blog section. So we've got our blog section here, which is some, some dummy posts in, just to give it a bit of shape for now. So this is the overview page. So if we log in to the website using our login details, first place we want to go to if we're setting up blogs is the post there. This is the posts here are all what we call blogs, blog articles, pages are static pages. So we want to put posts for blogs and the first thing we want to visit is the categories area. And I've already placed some in, in there. Um, I'm going to now place another one. Um, I'm going to add it here. Basically, you just type it in. So I'm going to do mentor. Don't have to fill out anything else. That will fill itself out. Add new category. And then it will appear over here. And this will we will use this again later when we start to either, um, actually set up our post. So let's have a quick look. Okay, so having set up our categories, and you can put whatever categories you like in here. I've put a few in as examples. So you may want to have articles that are on the theme of events or the program itself or the university. Um, so let's go and add a blog post. So we go to posts and we click on add new. And when we get to the page for adding new, <coughs> we are presented with a blank page. Now for this system, what we um, recommend to use is the advanced layout editor. Okay, so I'm going to click that button and all these extra little bits will drop out. It just makes things a bit easier as you'll see. Right, let's call, um, let's just give this a dummy title. And what we're going to do is quickly publish that at this point so we've got it in place once that's published we can then move on to creating the post itself so we've got these extra this is the advanced editor pro process we've got our area here so what we suggest is you do the following you drag click and hold and drag the color section into this box and just let it go and it sits in there what we're now going to do is to click on the elements of the page this is where our page uh, blog is going to go and then we're going to go contents text block and we're going to drag the text block in there so we've now got a color section the column and the text area okay and what we're going to do is we're going to put in our content and you're probably going to get the content from best thing to do is have something on a word document so you've written a, a, an article in a word document and then you're going to copy and paste that Word document into this area. So I'm going to click on the context. I've gone across to my Word document. I've selected all the text and I've put in copy. I'm now going to click here. What I'm going to do now is highlight that text and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. And all of the content is now in place. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to take this out and add this in again in a moment so you can see how I do it. Once I've done that, I will then save it. Okay, so I've saved it there, but I still need to go across to here and update it. Before I do that though, I'm now I'm going to change the category. These categories we entered in earlier are now here. And I'm going to untick and categorize so I'm going to click on mentor. And I'm going to update it. And that will now be updated. Now, what we're going to do is add in a featured image. So we scroll down the page and we find where it says featured image. Nothing there at the moment, so we're going to click on featured image. We're going to go to the library. Now, I've got one already uploaded. If you've got images you want to add to this and you've not yet got them in the, um, the website library in the back end, click on upload files, click on select. Go to a folder in your, on your PC and find an appropriate picture. Take that one. That will now be added to my library. Okay, the one I'm going to use for this post is this one. And I'm going to set featured image. And that will now appear there. So that's now saved within the, in, within the, in, within the page. What I'm also going to do, I don't want a sidebar. So on layout, I go to sidebar settings, click on the tab, and just click on no sidebar. Okay. So if you want a sidebar, obviously it's different. It depends what you want to put in the sidebar. So most people don't have sidebars on blog posts. I'm going to update it, 
and I'm going to go to the page and I'm going to refresh the page. This is the blog overview page. And what you'll see is that it hasn't turned up yet. Remember, we're looking for a blog post that says a dummy title. Has a title. Uh, this is how you control the overview page. Click on edit page on the blog overview page. Go to that page, scroll down and you will see a blog post element. Click on that, it will open up. And you will see these elements. And what you do is you hold your control key and you click each one while you're holding the control key and they highlight. That now means they will be included in the blog post. I also want to have four columns, keep it at four columns. And I want to have a number up to eight. So I'm going to change that to 10. No, I'm going to change it to 12. Um, again, you can control this, how many blog posts are actually uh, exist in the, on the overview page. I'm now going to save. I'm now going to click update. And now what I'm going to do is check the page. I'm going to go up to the top, click on view page. That will take me back to the front end. And I can now see what I've just put in. A dummy title and a picture. But there's no excerpt text at the moment. So that's okay, we can deal with that. We go back to the uh, post page where we've got the post. So we find that post for it by the title or dummy title. We've already got the, con the context. Now I'm going to do two things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image within the text. And this is how you do that. So wherever you want the image to be, you put your cursor. You then click on Add Media. And then you find your photograph. I'm going to put that one in. Obviously, if it's not in the media library, uh, use the same as before, click on the upload tab, click on select files, go to the file where it's on your computer, upload it, and then it will be in the library for future use. What I'm now going to do is, uh, what I would also do, just here, is to highlight this title text, uh, cut it, and then paste it in the alternate text, just for now. Okay. It helps with SEO. We're now going to insert that into the post and you will see the picture will appear here. Now when you click on the picture you've got these different tabs. So that's left aligned, uh, that's uh, right aligned so it appears on the other side of the page. That will be centred. So we're going to do it left aligned so it goes wraps around the text. Click on save. Click on update. Once it's updated, we should then go back into the blog page. And what we're going to do is we're going to refresh the page, and we should get still nothing in the dummy text in the excerpt column. That's because the other. Well, that's because in order for that text to be there, it's one more step. But if we go back, if we click on the, if we click on the title or the picture, we will go through to the blog post. And we will see the picture that I've just put in. Okay, so let's go back to the front end, go back to the overview page. But what we, if we wanted some excerpts text in there, then how do we do that? Okay, so go back to the edit page. And what we do is if we scroll down the page, we will see a box that says excerpt. So we're going to put some text in there. So you can decide what you want to put in there. I'm going to put in the first. I'm going to put in this column. Oops. So I'm going to highlight that text. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy it. And what they're going to do, I'm going to have to save it so I'm going to change anything. Go down to excerpt, put the cursor in there, right click, paste, and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to update. And what should now happen is when we go back to the page and refresh the page again, we now get the excerpt text. Now, depending on how, what, how neat you want to keep this, you may have uh, you may limit to what's in the excerpt text as um, so they're all the same level. Uh, so the way, best way to do that, because what we're trying to encourage people to do with excerpt text is get them, get hooked to them and go. Wet their appetite and they click on to read the whole thing. So what I what I tend to do is the following. I don't want it to be short. I don't want anything. So anything after how can is to go. 
I'm going to go back down to the other side a bit. I'll find how I can, and I'll get rid of that. I'm probably going to get rid of that and just put in some dots. So they know something's leaving. But now they don't know what it is, they're more likely to click here to find out what it says. That's the theory. Okay, so let's update it. And go back to the front of the page, click on refresh, and it, there it is. So if I wanted to keep all my excerpt text that size, that's how I would do it. But that is how, in effect, you publish a post. And you just follow that process each each time. And to make it easier going forward, because you've got the format already done there, when you go to add a new post, the best way to do it, I've found it saves time, is go to the pages, this is the list of all your posts. If you've got a new post to add, then rather than start from scratch, find one like this top one we've just done here. If you hover over this area, you'll see these links appear. And what I would do is I would click on duplicate, and it creates a complete clone of that. Of that, um, and it actually say draft on there. So when you come to edit that, all you need to do is everything's already set up for you. You haven't got to worry about putting the color section in and the text, but it's all there. All you need to do is therefore there, change the picture and change the text. So you click on to edit it, the text block, and obviously then you would copy and paste in your new article from your Word document. Um, change the picture if you want to, click save, all done. That will be the quickest way of doing it. Just remember that you also have to go down and change the excerpt text because that will also be in there from the clone and that will say what the, 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 the one you just duplicated from will say. So you just need to make sure that's added from your new content as you, as you do a new post. You'll see it anyway because you, once you've saved it you can go back to the front end and check everything's okay. And that's how you add a post. So if you need any, any other questions, just drop us an email.